what I want to do tonight is talk about something that um, the, the imposter Darren Brown talks about sometimes, and it's luck, and what makes luck. And what makes luck for me is when you have choice and you have chance, and when the two combine, um, you have the opportunity to be lucky. I don't want to do an experiment with you all tonight, if you're happy. Um, I want to see what happens if we can get lucky. It's just pure chance. I've got to stipulate that this is not magic, okay? I'm not doing any sleight of hand this evening. I just want to see what happens and we'll see where it goes. And um, we'll see. Um, first thing I want to do is tell you a little bit about um, psychic experience. Has, everyone, has anyone ever had a psychic experience before? The kind of thing I might mean is you think about someone and the phone rings and my God, that person's on the other end of the phone. Something you haven't really, somebody said yes. Who said yeah? Hey. You, ah, oh, going to the back. What's your name? Vicky. Hey. Sorry? Vicky. No, I heard you the first time, I'm just sorry. <laughs> right. That's five pounds, thank you very much. I said I'd do that one for five Right. <laughs> Vicky, what I want you to imagine, mate, is I've got 365 days in a year. Okay, we now have a, we're now in what's called the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is very interesting because it's derived from other things in which the connections to psychic pasts. For example, you may be surprised, you may not, you may be surprised to learn that um, there are 12 months in a year. You may be, red sensor, you never know. But <laughs> the clothes for a living, aren't they? Um, there are 11 months in a year. <laughs> if you correlate that to a deck of cards, Okay, 12 months in the year, there are 12 picture cards in a deck of cards, no coincidence. If you add up each suit, there are 13 cards in each suit, ace through to king, the number of months in a lunar calendar. There are four suits, the number of seasons in the year. And if you add up all the dots and throw in a joker, for anybody who's actually anal enough to have tried counting them, there are actually 365 the number of days in a year. So there's a correlation between it. In the 1960s or 50s, I think a guy called Hank Martindale or something did a song called The Deck of Cards about how the, the cards could be a Bible and almanac and everything else. Uh, I want you to imagine, uh, Vicky, um, that I've taken seven decks of cards, so I've got lots of cards, and I've given them a huge shuffle, okay? And in those cards, some of it will be repeated, obviously, because I've got seven decks, but what I've done is, on the 1st of January, on my calendar, I've put the top card, and I kept going all the way through, so I've actually got 365 cards for 300, you know, one card per entry for the whole 365 days of the year. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Good. What happens next? Because I'm going to clear. <laughs> what I need you to do is think of a date that's important to you, okay? Don't have a date that's on your JPA records for obvious reasons, okay? <laughs> I'm a chief clerk, for those who don't know. Sometimes. Um, Please think of a date, there's just no way in earth I would know, okay? What's the date? 7th of July. 7th of July, okay. Here's my diary, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to the front here, because this involves interaction, which is why I'm not wirelessly mic'd. I'm going to look, I'm going to completely avoid January, I'm going to get down, I'm going to show Jane at the front here, that these can't, this is definitely different. I appreciate the rest of the audience can't see this, because it take a long time, I've only got five minutes, and I've written used six of them. Um, <laughs> What was the date? 7th of July. Ju July. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep that away from July then. Okay, here's the months there. Okay. Successfully climbed the steps without tripping up. Excellent. Have you got there? No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't happen to Darren Brown. Have you? You there? <laughs> right. Had you gone for the card the day before, what would that card have been? Day yeah, the day before. Six of hearts. Six of hearts, okay. But the, and the day after your choice, your special choice, what was the card the day after? Yeah. <laughs> Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs, okay. What was the card on your special day? Five of Spades, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. 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 No, don't clap, please, don't clap. Don't clap, you're ruining a really good atmosphere. We're, 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 going, we're going someplace here. Right, I need another volunteer. Nobody, right? We'll do it the hard way. Catch, throw it around. 
Throw it out, throw it out. When I say stop, whoever's got it, you're my volunteer. Thank you. Are you up for this, or do you want to give it to somebody much prettier? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go volunteer? Okay, I'll be come. Give my round of applause. I didn't even know I was going to do that, actually. There we go. Okay. In my uh, state-of-the-art thing I've got here, I actually have three books, okay? Now, this is more about randomness, choice, etc. I've got three bestsellers here, okay? And I want you to choose one in a minute, okay? What I've got here, um, one of my favourites, Russell Brand, my bookie book. don't know if it's a preferred choice. Um, Lawrence Sanders, Third Deadly Sin, it's a murder mystery. don't know if anybody's ever heard of it, it's a series. And um, a real swole pleaser, ladies and gentlemen, uh, AP1, <laughs> core values and standards. Now, I don't know uh, about you guys, but as a mind reader, given that we all know this one, inside out, off by heart, etc., absolutely no point. So let's, if I may, we're going to discount that one, okay? <laughs> standards, regs, stuff, blah, 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 okay? What I've got here is two books. Each book, you okay? <laughs> You all, you all stand on that. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have worn grey. Hide the wet patch. Right. There's about 400 pages in this book, and there's about 400 pages in that book. Okay? Choose any one you want. Okay? Sure choice. Okay. Stay there and be bored for a second, because what I'm now going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go into the crowd, and I'm going to get random people to write random page numbers. Up to, was it 400? Yeah. And I just want you to write page numbers randomly, okay? Um, you can go first. What's your name? Hi. Sorry? Hi. Will I do it? Yay! Sorry. I heard you the first time, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'll keep doing it until people actually click, okay? Number two. Right. <laughs> Hard audience, hard audience. Okay. Take that out there. Uh, take any of the... Uh, take the card, I want to see it, okay? You've got a choice of five numbers there, I think. Okay. The card, not the mother of the mother of the okay? Right. Go to the other side, please. I don't want to see this. I don't want to be involved. There's no smoke. There is. There's plenty of smoke. There's no there is. Choose any one of those numbers and go to that page in that book. Okay? Yeah, if we had atmospheric music right now, this would be quite good. <laughs> you got there? Okay, read the first few lines of that page. This could go horribly wrong, and I'm serious, okay? Don't read it, don't read it, don't read it, don't read it. Okay, we all know you can read. Read it. Just turn it the other way up, okay? Uh, first thing you notice about a mind reading act is the person doesn't actually read it out loud because it makes it easier. <laughs> okay, you got it? You, first, first two or three lines, yeah? Turn to that. Okay, you got it? Just keep reading. Okay, right, first thing I need you to do. Who's looking at me? Just just first thing, clear your mind, okay? Clear your mind. Christ, that was quick. Yeah, yeah. Right. You there? I'm getting something. Is it? No. It's, it's a man, yeah? It's a woman. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting the name. Dave, Jim, Mike, Andy? <laughs> Bill? No. Read, read, the names, read, read the lines, the first, first couple of lines. Is hair relevant? It's not normal hair. What you're actually thinking about, see that it's a wig or a toupee. Is it? Is that relevant? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. 